Hi guys, I'm Dr. Alexander and today I would like to discuss pharmacology topic, pharmacokinetics. One of the first uh, lecture in the pharmacology, second one is pharmacodynamics. Without them, you cannot get forward. So pharmacokinetics means a movement of the drug in the body. This one have four stages, main one, like absorption, distribution, metabolism, or biotransformation, and of course, excretion or elimination from the body. By other words, you can say that what the body does to the drug, it absorbs, it uh, process and eliminate after the use. Let's start to the absorption, is a uh, rate at which a drug leaves its site of administration. Site administration, you can also associate with road of administration. We will talk in the next slide. Many mechanisms of absorption, we can count them simple diffusion from higher to lower concentration. So it's a concentration gradient. You have here a high concentration of the drug and here you have <coughs> less concentrated uh, solution. So the drug is passing simply. Facilitated diffusion is the same thing uh, from higher to the lower concentration, but it uses proteins to help passing. A third one is active transport is energy dependent and for uh, this process is used ATP. Uh, it is under, undergoing hydrolysis to ATP to ADP. And endocytosis for very large drugs that are engulfed by uh, cell membrane. So they are of very large size and can get transported only through this uh, way but uh, without uh, without changing of of this form also uh, they are not fitting uh, well uh, pores or pumps uh, or any of the other mechanisms and they cannot pass through these uh, gates they are engulfed and covered by cell membrane, for example, this portion, which is uh, recovered uh, uh, after. So bioavailability, by definition, is fraction of administered dose that reaches systemic circulation. If this one is a blood vessel, the main uh, uh, goal is to reach blood vessel of the drug. So factors that affecting absorption <clears throat> are, uh, of course, road of administration, and they differing between, uh, for example, intravenous administration is a 100 bioavailability of the drug, as you administering directly in the blood vessel in the vein the drug, and it's available 100 percent. Uh, other forms like, and th this one is very predictable, like 100 percent. Uh, per oral, per rectum, and intramuscular are unpredictable and depends, of course, uh, on a local blood flow. Have a decreased bioavailability. This one have a high bioavailability. This one have decreased. And inhalational road is more predictable as have large surface area. Distribution, distribution of the of the drugs through the body, volume of distribution or represent apparent or theoretical volume into which a drug is distributed. So, as you uh, as you understand, distribution mean from the blood vessel to the another uh, compartment. We will discuss it later. Oh, uh, de it depends by organ perfusion, capillary permeability, protein binding, ionization, lipid solubility, and partition coefficient. Vessel rich group. Vessel rich group. This means that tissues have a vessel rich, represent the vessel rich group. For example, a brain, heart, liver, kidney, which receive 75% of cardiac output. So these organs receive almost of the blood from 
the uh, heart. Others you see is represent health of the body like muscle or 20% or vessel poor uh, group and receive less blood. So distribution to these organs is very high as I counted uh, brain, heart, liver or uh, kidney. And it is important for pharmacology, for uh, anesthesiology as when you're administering an anesthetic, the brain is uh, equilibrated or have the same concentration through the distribution of the drug and patient is going to be anesthetized. Protein binding, so unbound drug is free to cross biological membranes and reach the site of effect. So when drug is bounded to the protein, it cannot uh, pass any of the membranes as it is bounded and is not released or passing. Protein do not uh, pass through the membranes. Acidic manifests acidic drugs bind albumin and basic drugs bind uh, alpha-1 acid glycoproteins. Basic drugs like local anesthetic. Ionization. Ionization means that molecule acquires positive or negative charge via gain or loss of electrons, hydrogen atoms, and pKa, another term, is the pH value at which 50% of drug exists in ionized and form and 50% exists in unionized uh, form. For, for example, if a drug have a pH of 5, and for, for going to this equilibrium, 50 and 50%, 50 it requires to have, for example, pH of 7. So from this to this pH, uh, ionized and unionized form will be 50 to 50. Lipid solubility, lipophilic drugs easily cross lipid membranes. Partition coefficient uh, ratio reflecting how a drug distributes between two phases of matter when at equilibrium. If you are an anesthesiologist, you understand well uh, the partition ratio of blood gas. Volume of distribution, which factors increase volume of distribution and which one decreases. Uh, unionized form, lipophilic and decreasing protein binding or uh, increase volume of distribution they allow drugs for passing in the second compartment in times that uh, drugs with, with decreased volume of distribution have to be uh, ionized uh, increase with increased protein binding and hydrophilic like you see many examples uh, drugs with high volume of distribution like propofol benzodiazepines and fentanyl and with decreased volume of distribution, neuromuscular block, blocking uh, drugs or agent. So let, let's draw once again this, uh, this scam. This one is the first compartment. This one is a second compartment. You have a road of administration and elimination, like, like a kidney, for example, or liver or lungs if we are uh, imagining that have only one compartment for example this one you have road of administration and you have first compartment so one compartment is when drug distributes instantaneously instantly and homogeneously throughout the body you do not go into the deposition or permanent or to the uh, periodic deposition. Uh, the second the second scam is uh, as having uh, two compartments, and two compartments means the drug distributes between plasma uh, uh, vessel rich uh, group and uh, vessel poor group with periphery. It is periphery and central compartment. Redistribution another term means the delivery of drug from vessel-rich group to less well-perfused tissue. 
Oh, less perfused, uh, less perfused tissue mean muscle fat skin, and central mean uh, from central to the peripheral compartment and responsible for termination of clinical effect after a single or a bolus does. So, if less perfused, less well perfused tissue uh, becomes saturated due to repeated or continuing dosing, or termination of clinical effect become dependent on metabolism or um, excretion. If you are giving one, only one dose, it can re redistribute or distribute to the peripheral tissue or be uh, transformed, metabolized and excreted. If you are giving repeating doses, uh, this one will go to the deposition and will have prolonged effect. So next slide is about metabolism or biotransformation. By transformation mean from active lipid soluble into water soluble and inactive metabolites. So main sites of metabolism are present liver, of course, with a lot of enzymes. Phase one and phase phase two occur mainly here: kidneys, lungs, GI tract, and plasma. Phase one is accompanied by cytochrome P450 and uh, from parent drug into polar metabolite also can be named. So oxidation, hydrolysis and reduction, the main three uh, enzyme uh, reactions that occur. In phase two, uh, glutathione, uh, glutathione uh, glut conjugation, acetylation, sulfation and glucuronidation of the substances. Oh, they become water soluble and and very uh, very inactive and can be eliminated easily through the kidney, for example. Excretion, by definition, is removing drug or metabolites from the body. Clearance is a volume of plasma completely cleared of drug per unit time. So clearance is um, is clearing is uh, clearing from plasma in times that excretion is removing from body once again clearance from plasma excretion from body main sites uh, size kidney liver lung and intestines renal clearance is uh, have have a uh, have to occur in many ways like passive glomerular filtration passive diffusion active tubular secretion elimination or mean termination of clinical effect and is often uh, due to health time called so drug me uh, uh, need around five health health times uh, for nearly complete elimination of drug from the body there are uh, two ways of eliminating and mean first order kinetics and zero order kinetics and if we have a graphic we can represent this as a first order and zero order kinetics in this way so if you are discussing zero order and first order kinetics first order kinetics uh, means that the amount of drug eliminated per unit time is proportional to the concentration so this one is a first order kinetic and the second one is a zero order kinetic means that a constant amount of drug is eliminated per unit of time so independent of what dose do you have it eliminates the amount constant amount do you have 10 milligrams or 5 milligrams it has the same elimination the same amount and it is called zero order kinetic the second one is dependent on concentration it's like going by health so if you have if you have 10 it will go to 5 if you have 5 it will go to 2 or less and so ahead my examples will be on first order kinetics first order kinetics are uh, follows a the most of the drugs and zero order kinetics only few and you have to know for 
exams like ethanol, salicylates, uh, phenytoin, uh, fluoxetine, omeprazole, cisplatin. Another important term for exam is context sensitive health life, which means time for drug to decrease uh, to predetermined level or percentage after discontinuation of continuous infusion. For example, if you are giving a continu continuous uh, infusion and a constant amount, for example, propofol, propofol for a short time and in an in a infusing pump and for patient and you are discontinuing at uh, at the one time of period what what is the what is the change that the uh, patient will recover so uh, so uh, metabolism of propofol is going very fast and it will be metabolized and recovery and awake of patient is fast but it depends from one drug to another for example if you are giving a dose and this drug will be in this way on on the graph Context-sensitive half-life is mostly for uh, remifentanil, which is, a, which is a drug that have a high clearance and metabolism. And for a short period of time of administration, patients wake up very, very fast. When you are administering for a long time, uh, the amount of drug starts to increase in the body and equilibrates after 8 hours. So it depends on the duration of the infusion, of course, what means context sensitive health life of the drug. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this uh, lecture is helpful for your study. Have a good time.